the Amarna period. Amanhotep III from 1390 to 1353 BC. Akhenaten's rebellion began with his father. Akhenaten is a famous king who brought a major change in Egyptian religion, which lasted only as long as he lived. He was the son of the great king Amenhotep III. The artists of this period made their works more realistic. In fact, the statues of Akhenaten depict a round belly, which would probably be more true to what the pharaoh truly looked like, being in a palace and all. However, though the art of the period was more realistic, some attributes were enhanced, such as Akhenaten is given an elongated face, thick lips, and rounded hips. The best of Nefertiti has enhancements, such as a long neck and prominent cheekbones. It is also the first time that a pharaoh would be depicted as a family man, which is very informal to the Egyptian art prior to this period. Aten had already been a minor deity as far back as the Old Kingdom. Aten was shown as the sun with rays ending in hands and sometimes holding an ankh, a sign of life. Akhenaten proclaimed himself to be Aten's only priest. The temples of Amun were closed. Amun's name was chiseled out of temple walls. New temples of Aten were built in Thebes. And an entire new city was built for the Aten known as Aken Taten. Aken Taten was Egypt's new capital. It was built next to the Nile, about halfway between Memphis and Thebes. Today it is known as Armana, it's dedicated to the god Aten. This rich, powerful king assembled and inspired a vast number of artists, builders, and artisans, which worked at a furious pace to create the 10 mile long city. He ruled over the city, which had some 20 to 50,000 inhabitants. Soon after Akhenaten's death, however, the city was abandoned. Amun was then reinstated as king of the gods, and eventually life went back to normal. It is now known as Amarna. This period of Egyptian history is now known as the Amarna period. The most radical period of Egyptian art occurred during the reign of the heretic king Akhenaten. There were paintings and reliefs of the natural world, such as scenes of workers, animals, and nature. The artists of this period depicted more movement than any before it had, such as birds in flight or wheat blowing in the wind. Naturalism, grace, beauty and unique art style of Amarna art more than holds their own against the best classical Greek art. Instead of being laid out in rigid registers that was traditional of Egyptian art, the walls were treated with liberal use of open fluid space. The art that was produced from this era will stand out among all Egyptian artifacts for its unique style. Despite controversy of Akhenaten's monotheistic religious views, many people can agree that many beautiful pieces of art from Egyptian history came from the influence of Nefertiti and Akhenaten. The physical distortions, such as the elongated skulls, imply some genetic malformation, perhaps a result of the common practice of royal incest. For hundreds of years, the all-powerful Amun was seen as the king of the gods, and so this new religion was far too radical for the followers of the old gods. The couple would begin a religious revolution that would destroy hundreds of years of tradition. Akhenaten dies 1336 BC. Akhenaten had a brief reign of approximately 17 years. Akhenaten 
not only introduced a new radical religion, but also ushered in a new wave of art for Egyptians. Akhenaten co-ruled with his wife, Nefertiti. It is possible that she may have ruled alone after her husband's death. Shikamare, 1336 to 1332 BC. Very little is known about Smikamare's reign. Smikamare and Akhenaten ruled as co regents for two years, and when Akhenaten died, Smikamare became king. A few Egyptologists speculate that Smikamare was really Nefertiti ruling as a man. It is possible that Nefertiti took over as ruler after Akhenaten's death. However, there has never been enough evidence to prove that theory. Tutankhamun becomes pharaoh at the age of nine in 1332 BC. Tutankhamun ascended the throne at just the age of nine. The all-powerful Amun was restored. Tutankhamun was Akhenaten's son. His mother was probably Kia, another one of Akhenaten's wives. He was born with the name Tutankhamun. A few years into his reign, the priest of Amun overthrew the god Aten and the boy's name was changed to Tutankhamun. The city of Armada was abandoned and later systematically looted, vandalized, and eventually destroyed. Egyptologists believe that Tutankhamun may have been murdered by one of his priests or the following successors. Tutankhamun dies at 1322 BC at the age 19 and was buried in the Valley of the Kings at Thebes. I, who takes over after King Tut's death from the years 1322 to 1319 BC. I was a high minister who is depicted performing at the opening of the mouth ceremony, General Haramed becomes pharaoh in 1319 BC to 1292 BC, destroys Armana and reestablished order in Egypt, and moves the capital back to Memphis. Married the sister of Nefertiti, and promptly began eliminating all traces of Tutankhamun and the heretic worship of Aten. Art, architecture, and religious innovations of Akhenaten was systematically obliterated by these more conservative rulers to a point where they were virtually forgotten. The legacy of Akhenaten, Nefertiti, and Tutankhamun offer many mysteries to unravel, as well as stunning works of art to admire which makes this a very unique period of Egyptian history. For many Egyptologists, this is one of the most interesting points of history, and historians struggle to piece together the mysteries that we may never have answers for.